It's just business. I'm here to win. I'm here to get the W. That's it. Smith has been a little bit questioning of your motivation, and he also said that you know he he said that he's selfish in this fight. This fight is about him proving better than the Jones fight. Do you think that he's maybe looking past you or discounting you? No, 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 no. I think he's he's uh, he's prepared and he's he's ready. He's ready for me. So, so he's gonna it's gonna. He wants to make a statement and, and, and prove to everybody that he belongs to the to the top guys, and, and I just have to prove him wrong. And he's kind of an unpredictable, kind of jerky guy. Lots of weird attacks. What do you think is like the most dangerous aspect of his game? That is hard to finish. And what do you feel is your biggest advantage? My speed. I see myself much tec more technical than he than he than he is, and and, uh, and he gets tired. And your last fight, obviously, you had a tough injury in the very first round, and you know you've talked about it, saying you've never felt pain like that before. What was it like to, you know, go away from that fight, not only with a loss, but knowing that you know you could have done so much more had it not been for that injury? It's always tough with a loss. It's always something you can do better. So it's in the past now. It is what it is. I'm just, I'm just looking forward to this fight now. And what has been your biggest focus in this camp, or, or you know, just leading up to this fight? Has it been more physical, mental, or you know, what would you say has been your biggest development so far? A little bit of both. You work in both all the time. You want to be, you want to, you want to be perfect when the time comes. So. And you're undefeated so far in the Globe Arena. Uh, last time you were here was, I think most would agree, it was one of your finest performances. What exactly do you do to top that? Just doing a bit much better one this time. You can't you can't propose again this time. No, that's true. That's true. That's true. Maybe so, let's see what happens. I'm just gonna make sure I do I do an even better better fight than I did last time, and I get that W. That's the most important thing right now. And uh, you said that the biggest uh, danger for Smith is that he's kind of hard to finish. Uh, we saw again against Jones that you know he he froze up a little bit, and you know he sort of got stuck in a defensive shell. Is that something that you thought about as well about pushing him? You know, pushing him to the cage? No, no, I haven't because you can't really you can't really take that fight and try to build a game plan from it because Smith was Anthony wasn't himself in that fight at all. I've seen him in other fights. He just he comes in like a truck and he finish he's been finished a couple, couple of legends in the sport so so I'm, I'm ready for that type of Anthony so you're expecting a better Anthony Smith and want to challenge for the title oh yeah yeah of course yeah he said in the past that he wants to break you or that you break mentally easily um, what do you take um, and when an opponent uh, talks about uh, you like that no nothing I just I just think it's let's see on Saturday let's see let's see if I break and where would you uh, say your stand is right now in the division? Um, the moniker of a gatekeeper is kind of negative, uh, but you are kind of now a gatekeeper to the uh, title contention. Everyone who wants to get to the title fight has to go past you. Um, do you see yourself um, in contention anymore, or do you want to wait until Jones is done with light heavyweight? Um, yeah, where do you see yourself right now in light heavyweight? No, I'm just a regular fighter that just wants to wants to fight actively and 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 and, and with my fights, one fight at a time. And and if I get an opportunity again, fighting for the title, I embrace it, of course. But that's nothing that's in my focus or in my mind right now. I just take one fight at a time and, and go through these guys. We have a, a, a lot of guys to fight in this division, so I'm far from done. Uh, do you feel any extra pressure fighting in front of your home crowd here in Sweden or in Stockholm? No, not at all. I just, I just, I just love it. I love to, I love to fight. I like to fight in Stockholm and, and, and to be here and, and and be able to experience all that again. Dan Hardy recently broke down your fight with Smith. Have you had a chance to see that yet? Uh, no. Well, he made some comments where he was questioning. Uh, he asked, uh, "What is Alexander Gustafsson fighting for?" And he, you know, he questioned a bit, like, "Well, you know, lost ti three title fights," uh, and he was, you know, wondering, you know, what what kind of Alexander Gustafsson are we going to see? Uh, how do you feel about those comments? And you know, what do you feel that you are fighting for in this fight? Well, I'm not fighting for the title anymore, and and it's not in my mind right now because, like you said, I had three opportunities and I came out short all three times. So for me, it's just my, my focus and my goal is to win every fight. I take every fight and I just stack them up and 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 trying to trying to just to be a better version of myself all the, in every fight, and we take it from there. Do you feel in any way that we might see a new revamped Alexander Gustafsson, you know, returning to home field advantage? Of course, we'll see on Saturday.
how's it been sharing training camps with um, your teammates who are also on the main card? Good, good. It's, it's just been good. Uh, you know, I, I love having my teammates around me and, and, and uh, now they're fighting themselves. So we've been pushing each other hard every day. And, and uh, so, you know, I, it's, I, just, I, just, I just enjoy it more having your, your teammates on here and, and they're also fighting, sharing the same dressing room. And, and that, so it's will great. You, will you be watching any of their fights before course, you go out? Of course, of course them, yeah. yeah. You said that you want to have a very active year of 2019. Um, what can we expect of that? How many fights do you still want to uh, make after uh, Saturday? Uh, let's see. I, I, I want another fight. I want this fight, another fight. And if I can get three fights, uh, that would be great. But uh, we saw with this fight. This is a perfect fight to start with. It's in my hometown and it's against a very tough opponent. So. So let's see, let's see after this fight. What can we expect from you inside the cage? What will be your game plan against uh, Anthony? I'm not telling you, but you can expect a W, a win. Thank you. All right,